<clears throat> so I think I'm gonna try and go the entire day without taking a shower. You know why? Cause it's my motherfucking day off. It's like 3:45 in the afternoon. I've been up since about 8:30. Just hanging out my PJs. Not much going on. Watched a little bit of porn today. Picked my nose. I had some ice cream. And oatmeal. Peaches and cream. Represent. Um, what else did I do? I don't even know. What did I do? I don't, I really don't know. Let's talk about how... Wait, let me make sure she's not home first. We're safe. I love my aunt and everything, you know, because she's family and I have to love her, basically. But, every time she comes over to my house, it's like a fucking tornado went through or something. I'm not even trying to be mean, honestly, and I hope she doesn't see this video. I hope none of my family sees my videos because they wouldn't be happy. Like Tuesday, she came over. I had to go to school and take a final because I missed my final. And I get back, I'm gone for like an hour, and I get back, the fucking microwave door is just wide open, like, no big deal, just chilling. And then, like, the screen door in my kitchen is like all open, and the kitchen table chairs are everywhere. Even the cap on the blue Sharpie wasn't put back on. It's the fan on the bath, in the bathroom, which had been on when I left was still on and I'm like in the middle of my nap today and she calls me and wants me to go downstairs and tell her like all like the doses of my grandmother's medication I'm like what the hell I can't even pronounce these words on these bottles I'm not even awake right now couldn't you do this before you left for the doctor you were here for like two hours I'm done complaining now though <laughs> I'm a pig. No wonder no one wants to date me. The other day I was at work. You like the way I say that? Work. I was sitting in a patient's room. So I'm sitting there and she's like, oh, I hate being in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh yeah, no, I totally understand. I was in the hospital like two weekends ago. It sucks. Like, and she was like, oh, why were you in the hospital? And so I was telling her about my accident or whatever. And she was like, Oh my god, that was you? And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, I saw that on the news. That's crazy. I can't even believe you guys survived it. I was studying for my world religions final, which I got a 93% on, by the way. Just putting that out there. And she basically was like, oh my god, you are meant for like really big things because you survived that car accident and look what you're studying like oh my god i just i am getting goosebumps right now just like thinking about it and listening to you, your story that is really crazy and profound i was like are you basically telling me that i'm like the next jesus and she replied yes what correct me if i'm wrong uh i really don't think I am in God's favor. I am a pothead and I'm gay. Don't think I'm one of God's favorites, but you know, hey, it's a nice thought, right? It's really all I have to say.